Hey guys, Mark McKillar here with liveanabot.com. And today I want to show you how to get abs like a boxer. And the way we're going to do that is actually to do a lot of boxing style movements. Now, if you guys have noticed, these boxers are typically really ripped, especially in the light to middleweight classes. Those heavyweight guys, doesn't matter. There's no weight limit, so they can get real fat and out of shape. Believe it or not, they got incredibly strong abs under all that fat. But for the other guys that actually have to meet a weight, like 150 pound or 170 pound, those guys are absolutely ripped. They cannot afford to have a bunch of extra flab. And guess what, guys? Tons of boxing movements actually use your core. A lot of people don't realize this, but boxing is not about throwing your arms, okay? You know, this is not boxing. Boxing is twisting, all right? So when I throw a punch, I'm not just throwing my arm out, I'm twisting, okay? Twisting, twisting. So I'm using my core, okay, to twist, and that's what gives you the power, okay? Is this whole twisting movement. So you're using your core, you're actually using your glutes and your legs, okay? And it's all timed. And then a hook is even more core, okay? So if we're gonna throw a right hook, I gotta really throw, okay? Left hook, right, left, right, <clears throat> hook. So we're not throwing our arms so much as we're really twisting our core really quick. And it's the speed of that twist that gives you the power. So let me show you some just real basic exercises that you can do at home to work out like a boxer. So, got some bands here. I got them set up on kind of a mid-height anchor point here. Put these things underneath your armpits, okay? A couple different ways to do this. So basically, I'm just gonna get in my normal, traditional boxer stance, okay? And then I can just throw a jab, jab. or a right cross. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Then you can start throwing some hooks in there. So you can go left and then a hook. Left, left, hook. Left, right, left, left, right. All right, so guys, you're gonna get out of breath really quick doing this. So I recommend, instead of trying to count the number of punches you're throwing, just use a timer. So we're gonna show you a really fun free app that you can download to your phone. It's a boxing timer, okay? So you can set it for any length of time you want, okay? So probably 30 seconds of throwing these punches with these bands, and you'll be really out of breath, guys. And so. That timer's gonna count down. It will actually let you know when there's 10 seconds left, three seconds left, and then a big old gong will sound like it's the end of a round. So, fantastic way to time yourself, okay? If you don't wanna go through the trouble of downloading a free app, that's fine. Just use your watch, clock, anything like that, or just guesstimate about 30 seconds. Then, you're gonna be totally gassed. Give yourself a little breath, okay? You can do it all over again, or you can move on to some of these other exercises I'm gonna show you. All right, guys, I wanna show you another way to do basically the exact same exercise, but we don't need to have a door and an anchor. All you need is one simple band. So this means you can go anywhere, okay? All right, here we go. Under the armpits, I'm not using any handles, okay? I'm just grabbing the anchors under my thumbs, okay? Same exact same, uh, thing as before. We're just gonna use the same form, okay? So boxer stance and And then you can practice just kind of doing, you know, a slip, okay? So boxers will do jab, jab, okay, jab, and then they will pivot and start.
All right, guys. <laughs> About 30 seconds of that. Trust me, not only are you gonna be out of breath, you're really gonna be feeling it in your shoulders because of the resistance these bands are putting on you. And you're slowly but surely, after a couple minutes of this, your abs are gonna start to burn. Not in the first 30 seconds, but trust me, at the end of this workout, you will definitely feel it in your abs. Okay, guys, I'm gonna show you how to do some more fantastic ab work. Stuff that boxers actually do on a regular basis. Now, remember, guys, boxers have these really great looking tapered waist you know they got these big wide shoulders and these really tight ripped abs and a small waist and a lot of that has to do with just the nature of their sport and the things that they have to do on a daily basis so let me show you how to do some real straightforward sit-ups with punches you guys can do it anywhere no equipment required okay so i'm going to do it right here on my couch now you're going to want to hook your feet okay under something whether it's some dumbbells, a couch, a chair, I don't care. You just need a little bit of a resistance, okay? And I'm just gonna be doing some basic sit-ups with punches here, and guys, there's lots of variations here. So we can just sit up and jam, jab, 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 or you can come up, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, or you can do crosses, left, right, left, right, one, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four. All right, so there's lots of different ways you can do this, guys. And I recommend just do it until you just get fatigued. Now, a lot of it is going to be fatigue of your cardiovascular system. So we're accomplishing more than just working on our abs today. You're going to be burning a lot of calories. You're going to be getting your heart rate up, okay? You're going to be out of breath. All fantastic ways to burn lots of calories. So, guys, all right? So, boom, boom. Or you can do it. All right, guys, man, just doing that and trying to talk to you guys at the same time is tough. I'm out of breath. I need a break. All right, guys, if you have a medicine ball or a slam ball, this is a great way to make use of this. These boxers have to really crunch down because they're taking blows, okay, to their core. And I mean, when you're get, about to get hit, these guys learn to <clears throat> just kind of flex, all right, and then that helps to protect their internal organs from the blow that's coming. So if we start with a heavy weight above our head and <clears throat> slam it down as hard as we can with a lot of force, you're forcing your core to contract, okay, and bring your upper body down. So I have a medicine ball here, and guys, it's just straight, it's as straightforward as just getting it over your head and then just slamming it down as hard as you can. Pick it up. Now guys, make sure, okay, you don't make the mistake that I see other people do, and that is let the ball come back up and hit you in the face. So these medicine balls are pretty soft and they don't bounce a lot. Some of these balls are harder rubber, and when you slam them down, they will bounce back up four or five feet in the air, break your nose, knock your teeth out, okay? So guys, just experiment at first. You can just kind of throw it down, okay. And then work into harder and harder. All right, you do 15 or 20 of those in a row, promise guys, you're gonna feel it in your gut and in your lungs. You're gonna be really out of breath, heart rate's up, and you're gonna be burning calories. All right, guys, so all I'm doing is overhead punches. Now, this is another exercise boxers do on a regular basis. So we just, 
And remember, I'm not just throwing my arms like this, okay? I'm actually bouncing. You're gonna see my feet kind of up on my toes, okay? All right, so you kind of get that nice bouncy movement going. It takes a little bit of practice and coordination, but guys, just give it a try, I promise. This thing is gonna kick your butt. All right, so what the hell am I doing laying down here on the floor with this big old medicine ball next to me? Guys, I'm about to inflict some pain. And trust me, it really doesn't hurt all that much. It's really gonna train your abs and your core to be able to tense up and take a blow. And of course that tensing is what is gonna be building our ab strength. So guys, I'm taking that same medicine ball that I was slamming down earlier, have my knees bent, feet flat on the floor, okay? And I'm just gonna bring this thing down onto my belly button, okay? My lower abs. Avoid the higher abs, because that's where your solar plexus is. You'll knock the wind out of yourself. So, so I'm just gonna be bringing All right, so guys, you don't even have to really consciously think about it. Your stomach is going to really tense up as it sees this ball coming down, okay? Because if you don't, it will knock the wind out of you. So start off easy. You don't have to slam it down, okay? So just, just kind of get the hang of it. That didn't hurt, right? And then a little harder, a little higher. And then you can really slam it down. Just listen to your body, whatever feels acceptable okay i don't want it to be really easy okay i want you guys to feel some serious pressure hitting those abs forcing you to really contract your abs and your entire core otherwise you're really not getting the benefit out of this exercise all right guys and one last thing i want to mention to you is you need to basically exhale right as the ball is hitting your stomach and i don't really even have to think about it it's really just kind of a second nature thing so guys, when you just listen to me, I go Okay, so as you tense You're automatically going to be expelling a lot of air. Okay, so it is a natural reaction But if you feel like you're getting the wind knocked out of you, it's because you're not tensing and forcefully exhaling at the same time that is the trick all right, guys, I hope you had a good time watching this video. I really enjoyed making this one. This is unique, a little different. I've done a little bit of kickboxing, a little bit of sparring, not enough to be very good at it, but just enough to know how really hard it can be. Guys, don't forget, you gotta subscribe to the channel. Give us some of those little thumbs up, some likes, post some comments below, share this with some of your buddies, and guys, come on. This is not gonna happen overnight, you know that. But if you always stick with it and never give up, you're going to meet your goals.